Hey guys, welcome back. I am Vika if you are new to here. So today I am going to explain you how to create an awesome smooth scene transition in Unity. Here I am using callbacks and actions inside Unity to smoothen the process. So without further ado, let's get started. First I am going to make a new project. This time it is a 2D project. So let's click on it. For a 3D project, the process is as same as 2D project. We have to give a name first. So let's put Unity Scene Transition and let's create the project. By default, we have a sample scene. I need to rename it as Scene 1. After changing the name, let's reload the scene. Then I create another scene and name it Scene 2. Now we need a C-Sharp script to manage the scene. So let's create a C-Sharp script as Scene Loader. Here we don't need start and update functions. So let's remove it first. Then we need to add a public method to load the next scene. Let's create a public method called load next scene. In order to load a scene, we have to import scene management. To add scene management, let's type using unityengine.sceneManagement. Let's come back to the load next scene function and type scene manager dot load scene and we have to insert the build index inside the parentheses. For now, let's put one here. I'll explain what is one here now. To explain it, let's go to the file and select the build settings at the bottom of the list and you will get a window like this. Now what you have to do is just drag and drop the scenes you want into the scenes in the build section. Here the first scene is already added by the unity for us. Now let's drag and drop our second scene to the list and we will get number 1 as our build index. This number is responsible for load scenes. Next what I'm going to do is create a canvas, panel and button in the scene for scene number 1 and copy that canvas to the scene number 2. Since this is a basic, I'm not going to explain to you much. After that, let's come back to the scene manager script and create another method to load our first scene from the second scene. Here I rename my first method from load next scene to load scene 1. Also, I change the build index in the load scene function as well. Then I need to attach a function to the button action. Since our script is already attached to the canvas game object, we have to drag the canvas game object and select load scene 1 from the function list in the drop down. After saving it, do the same for scene number 2 as well. Initially, the button didn't work because the event system was not there since I copied this canvas from scene number 1. So I manually added the event system. Now let's play the game. All the things are working as expected. Now we can move from scene to scene. But when the scenes have more component, it may take some time to load and during that time our scene will be black and it's not aesthetic. So let's put some nice animation like this to cover it. Now we need to create animations to cover the transition. First I need something to animate. So I create another canvas and add a panel and a text to identify it. I'll put scene transition as animation text. Also make sure to add a canvas group component to your animation canvas and deselect interactable and block raycast. This will not block your raycasts since this is deselected, buttons under the animation canvas will work without any issue. After that, let's go to the animation tab, create animation and give it a name. Here I give transition in. Then click on the record button and move the cursor 30 frames forward. After that, I move this background upward and uncover the screen. Our animation looks like this when we play it manually. But when we play our animation, it works backward. So I swap the key points in the animation bar and stop recording. Also I need another clip for the transition out 
So I click on this drop down and select create a new clip and name it as transition out. For this we don't need to record it again. So let's copy key points from the transition in and paste it into the transition out timeline and swap it. After that let's open the animator controller and it looks like this. Then click on animations. Here we need to uncheck loop time in both transitions like this. Then I go to the animator window and make the transition out as default animation. Then add a transition from transition out to in and transition in to out like this. Then I need two triggers to trigger these animations. So let's click on the little drop down and add two triggers and name it as wipe in and wipe out. Also, I remove the exit time and set it to zero by clicking on both of the animation arrows. Also, tag respected wipe in and wipe out triggers in the condition sections like this. Then I will explain the script. First, I created a private variable for the animator and named it transition. Then created public enumerator functions to wait for the scene to load until the end of the animation. Here I used action builds callbacks to smoothen the process. In the transition dot get trigger function triggers the animations. Yield return new wait for seconds to hold process for 0.5 second as defined here. After waiting that amount of time, one con complete action is called and returns the function. You need to have the system imported in order to use actions here. Let's go to the load scene script. I have modified this script little bit. Here I have referenced the scene transition manager class and name it as scene transition. In the awake method, I dynamically reference the scene transition manager using find object of type scene transition manager. In the load scene function, I call transition in using start coroutine. Here I pass load actual scene one function as an action. Once the animation is done, load actual scene one function is called. Also, your scene transition script should be attached to the transition canvas and you should attach the component that contains the animator to the script. Let's go to the Unity game engine and play. Now it is working nicely and you can put any kind of animation to cover the transition. If you haven't used these actions or callbacks, this will not happen smoothly. That's it for scene transitions. Hope you got new things and if you like this video please thumbs up and if you hate this video please thumbs down and if you think this video is useful for your friends as well please do share with them and please consider to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as well if you want to get new updates of my game development and tutorials. So see you soon in another video. Bye.